On Black Friday, it's not the color black that dominates here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Instead, it's the rivalry between red and light blue. For Pack TV, I'm Drew Blevins. It's Rivalry Friday football here from Chapel Hill at Keenan Stadium, NC State in North Carolina. Let's check it out. NC State started things off by stopping North Carolina on the game's opening drive. The pack would return fire and would score on a 59-yard gadget pass from Jalen Samuels to Stephen Lewis. Things would only turn more favorable for NC State after Mitch Trubisky fumbled on the first play from scrimmage on the ensuing drive. Four plays later, Matt Days would barrel into the end zone, sending NC State up 14-0. State completed one long pass play that was called back on a holding penalty, but the foul marked the lone miscue of the first quarter. At the start of the second, Days would hit Pater again on a gutsy 18-yard run on fourth down. Mitch Trubisky would lead the Tar Heels back, though. Trubisky found Ryan Switzer in the end zone to put the heels on the board at 21-7, which is where the score would stand at halftime. Carolina recovered an onside kick to start the third quarter, but the play was called back for an illegal block downfield. NC State would take the second kickoff and drive 85 yards on 14 plays. The drive was capped on a four-yard end-around rush from Jalen Samuels to make it 28-7. In the fourth quarter, though, the tide turned. Trubisky nailed Thomas Jackson in the end zone to cut the NC State lead to 14. On their next possession, the Heels used a 48-yard pass from Trubisky to Bug Howard to make it 28-21. Things got testy down the stretch. However, the Wolfpack defense held on 4th and 20 when Howard dropped what would have been a first down pass at the State 27. NC State kneeled out the clock, taking the victory over the Tar Heels 28-21. NC State gets the job done here in Chapel Hill today, improving their record to 6-6 six and six on the season and making them bowl eligible for the third straight year. NC State has also now taken the last two right here in Keenan Stadium and are 2-2 two and two against North Carolina under head coach Dave Doran. Coach Doran remarked after the game that it wasn't so much about making a bowl as it was proving this team's worth. And NC State proved their worth right here in Chapel Hill today. All that's left for NC State is a short waiting period to determine where they'll be going for their third straight bowl game. For PAC-TV in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, I'm Drew Blevins, bringing you into the PAC. <laughs>